Website Animations The Art and Science of Adding Motion and Interactivity to Your Website Today we are going to build this responsive animated website using ReactJs and Tailwind CSS and GSAP for animation. In this course, you will learn how to create a beautiful animated website using ReactJS and GSAP animation. Before we start make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video. As we always do in this channel, we will set up the project. First open empty folder in VS Code, then create React app using Vite. Then set up the Tailwinds and lastly install the GSAP library. And that is all we've done the setup. In this project, we need six components. So let's create. We also need some punch of images. You can get all the images in GitHub link in the description. Let's build the navbar component. This component contains h1 for logo or heading text and list of links. in this course or focus is the animation, so we will not explain that much GSX and Tailwinds. The hero component contains cloud image, navbar component, text div, mountain images, and card div. And let's give the container div background image set the position relative s at the cloud image absolute position. We need the h1 text to be the center of the two mountain images.
In the Discover Places Let's Past an array of places that contains place name and place image, the component contains text div and places that we need to be horizontal scrolled as we scroll down the page. In the index, CSS, let's hide all scroll bars in the website globally. In the places component, let's import the animated text and zoom image components.
when we done the components. Let's animate the hero component first importing the zap module and the scroll trigger plugin from the zap library. Scroll trigger is a plugin that lets you create scroll-based animations with minimal code. Then register the scroll trigger plugin with the gsap module so that it can be used in the animations. Use layout effect hook, which takes a function as its first argument and an array of dependencies as its second argument, creating a context for the GSAP module, which allows you to use multiple instances of GSAP with different settings and plugins. Use the GSAP from method, which creates an animation from a set of initial values to the current values of the target element. Current, which is a reference to an image element in the component give the animation some properties. These properties define how the animation will look and behave. For example, scale 1.2 means that the image will start from 120% of its original size, y 50 means that it will start from 50 pixels below its original position, ease power 2 out means that it will have a quadratic easing out effect, and duration 3 means that it will last for 3 seconds, the scroll trigger property is an object that defines how the animation will be triggered by scrolling. It has some properties, such as trigger means that the animation will be attached to the image element. Pin means that the element will be pinned to its position while scrolling. Scrub means that the animation will be scrubbed by scrolling I. It will progress or reverse according to how much you scroll. Start, top, top means that the animation will start when the top of the element reaches the top of the viewport and end 10 means that it will end when you scroll 10% of the viewport height. Past the start position 1, these properties define how the animation will be attached to a specific element on the page and how it will react to scrolling. Lastly, returning a cleanup function from the useLotefect hook. This function will revert all animations created in the context when the component unmounts or when any dependency changes. The H1 text animation and card animation are similar to this. Import the GSAP and scroll trigger. Register the scroll trigger. Create the GSAP context, then convert all the elements with the class name place into an array. Then it uses gsap.to to animate them horizontally by setting their percent property to minus 100 times their index. Scroll trigger properties are the same as previous on the snap is new and it is a boolean value or a number that determines whether the animation should snap jump to certain points. In this case, it is set to one places. Length 1, which means that the animation will snap to each place.
In the animated text component, use text, current, text content, split S plus to split the text content of the element with the ref text into an array of words by whitespace. Then it uses text, current, inert mode to replace the text content with HTML spans for each word. Then use text, current, query selectoral span to select all the spans and store them in a variable called spans. Then use GSAP, set to set their Autolfa property to zero, which means they are hidden, creates a zap, timeline object and stores it in a variable called tell. Then create timeline object has a scroll trigger object as its property. Use tl.to to animate all the spans by setting their Autolfa property to one, which means they are visible. It also uses stagger 0.2 to create a delay between each span's animation, creating a cascading effect. In the zoom image component, let's animate the images. Let's make the hero component responsive. And that is it. Everything is working well. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new. Thanks for your watching. Please make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video thanks.